I'm half done with my program now. Isn't that weird? I have no words in my brain today. I wanted to film, but... dried strawberries which are yummy but like I don't know what to put them in or eat them with um so I'm gonna put a couple in here I think the exact halfway point was something like January 19th, um, but then the 22nd of every month is, I got here on August 22nd, so then like the 22nd is what I mark as a month. It's been a hard week, I don't know why. I've been not feeling very well physically, I, I don't know why. The German diet does not agree with me. I think it's just harder sometimes than others to be away from everyone, you know? And I was telling my mom the other day, I was like, I just want to skip to April. Because April is when I have um, Easter break and then I have some trips planned. And then my family is hopefully coming to visit in May. Or they, I think they will come to visit in May. And then June I go home, like at the end of the month, but still. I was thinking the other day, like I just wish I had one person here from home, you know? Like one friend or one family member. And I know this was my choice. And I'm very grateful to have gone into the program, but that doesn't mean it's not hard sometimes, you know? I think I will do study abroad again in college, but not for as long. <laughs> I think I would rather do maybe a summer program, so like three months or six weeks or semester, but a full school year. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Which is not to say that I'm not having a good time, 
like I am for the most part. It's just this past week or the past few days have been harder. It hasn't been that cold really here. It's been around, um, I think the coldest it's been is maybe 28 degrees Fahrenheit, so um, negative three or something Celsius. Which is cold, but it's not horrible. But when it gets to me. The weather looks like this all the time. Like all the time. It's just gray. Essentially. I guess maybe that's maybe I should have been more prepared for that. But I'm from Kansas. Which it definitely gets cold there, but it's one of the sunniest states, so we get a lot of sun. And so just to have gray weather for three weeks at a time with no sun, I'm just not used to it. So yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but I am really excited to be home for the summer, or most of it at least. Um, in Kansas in the summer, it's hot and humid, but I love summer, even though I I'm sure I complain all the time about, oh my god, it's so hot. But it's really, it's like 100 degrees a lot of days. So, um, 40-ish Celsius. But I'm definitely um, the kind of person who needs the warmth and the sun. And I'm going to Virginia for college, so. I only have two classes today. FPE, or like sport, and then math. We're playing table tennis in PE right now, which isn't too bad. It's weird though, because at my school, or in the US, you only had to take PE for a year and a half of high school. And if you wanted to take more, you could, but you didn't have to. Here, I think everyone takes it um, all three years. So like Oberstufe is like, it's a little hard to compare because the German school system is a lot different. So I go to a gymnasium, which is um, for kids who are gonna go to college. But there's also um, the Realschule, which is, uh, I think if you're just gonna go directly into the workforce, a gymnasium goes to 13th grade, so it goes a year longer than high school in the U.S. Um, but here where I am, there's a school that uh, goes 5th grade to 10th grade, and then the school that I'm at is 11th to 13th, so it's, it's a little weird, but I don't know, it's just how it is, I guess. I will say, I don't really like the idea that you have to decide when you're 10, if you're gonna go to college or not. I'm not sure if it's off a test or like your grades or, I'm not exactly sure how that's determined because I didn't grow up here. But it, it seems a little unfair to me. So at my high school in the US, for example, you could kind of determine how hard you wanted to make it because there was just general classes, which a lot of people took. There was honor, there were honors classes, and then there were AP. Um, and we also had a lot of shop classes and stuff, so like welding and uh, had some engineering classes and that kind of thing. And so it just seemed a lot more fair to me when you all go to the same school and you all have the same opportunities, but then you can like individualize your plan. It is. My life right now is pretty boring here. The only things I do are I go to school and then I go to the gym sometimes. And sometimes I'll hang out with people, but not that often, <laughs> which is fine. But I miss my friends and I miss my family. I had a really good few weeks after um, Christmas. I was in Hamburg for a week and then, actually maybe I'll put in some clips from that. I didn't take very many, but I have a couple.
just now. I don't have much coming up. Yeah, so I'm half done. Some days it feels like, oh my gosh, I'm already half done. And sometimes it's like I still have the same amount of time here as I've already done. And that feels kind of overwhelming. Just because it's hard. It's hard being away from everyone. Um, and I am having a good time here overall. I'm very, very grateful for the program. But it is hard and it's probably a little longer than I wish it was. But I signed up for this. This, is, this was my choice. I'm not gonna go home unless something I'm like personal in my family happens or whatever. Um, so it'll be okay. If you are watching this and you're on the same program or going through the same thing or whatever, it'll be okay, we can do it. It's, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that long. I know it feels really long right now, but it'll be okay, we can do it. I'm not generally a positive person. Being negative just makes everything feel harder, so. Cheers. This is tea, so. I don't know if you really do cheers with tea. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And if you're from home and you're watching this, I miss you and I will see you soon. Bye.